What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle. My name is Pope John Paul and I hope you guys enjoy this siege. It is a very, very close one. Uh, 3v3, um, I am playing with some subs, we are defending against uh, Rome, Macedon and the Seleucids, so three strong factions. And we are playing as Carthage, Syracuse and myself as Nabatea, one of my favourite factions as I've often mentioned. And it seems that I am facing Rome and a bit of Macedon. Oh no, we've not got the Seleucids. I apologise, it's the Adrissian Kingdom. A, a very unusual faction to really bring to the um, on the offensive and on the defensive, to be honest. But I mean, he's spamming out those Thracian nobles um, along with, uh, well, archers and a few spears of his own. But yeah, it looks like he's just going to be going with a lot of heavy shock sort of infantry. Uh, and yeah... That's kind of really it. There's a bit of a bombardment stage going on as we speak. I think they're trying to take out towers. Certainly taking, about to take out this one. But yeah, this one, as I've already mentioned, is a very, very close one. Goes right down to the end. So it's definitely worth sticking around to see what happens. Um, so I got, hope you guys are enjoying the content at the moment and are staying safe and well in this uh, lockdown and isolation period. As that tower goes down just there in the corner. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the content at the moment and keep uh, giving likes, subscribes, and comments. Keep it up, guys. I'm really appreciating it. And let's see if we can get to 1,300 as soon as possible. But yeah, so it looks like Rome's having a little bit of an issue with his uh, towers. And one's already on fire, which is excellent. I uh, forgot all about this. I had this replay a little while, so I'm a little bit rusty on what's happened. Um, but yes, I've been trying to find a spot to put it in. And we found we found the time and the space to have this excellent siege battle put in. And Hastati getting focused down. Interesting unit to bring Hastati, but uh, as they're pretty weak, and you might as well have just like upgraded some more legionaries or just brought more legionaries if you could afford them. But it looks like Macedon really is going to be the first one in since Rome is uh, having problems with the siege engines, and he's going to be knocking down walls by the looks of it. Uh, Syracuse looks like he's pretty ready. He's got picked hoplites ready. A lot of picked hoplites, actually. I think these are Thorax swords as well. Yeah, it looks like he's pretty, pretty sword. What's he got on the walls over here? Pocked, picked hop, picked hoplites. I was about to call them pocked hip lights. Um, but no, I get these guys off the walls. Spears on the walls just does not end well, especially against swords. Even Thorax swords, they'll just get overwhelmed. Okay, so Macedon is going to be knocking down a wall here. First real mistake by Macedon, knocking down. Well, this wall to start with. Very easy to choke them. Uh, choke this. Um, just need one unit as we've got here desert armored desert hoplites here it looks like going to be first in to defend and all they have to do is just defend here we've got um, some swords ready as well and we've got plenty of archers um, just basically to focus down anything in this kill zone we're forming here and we've got like another this is the other way they can get through so Rome's going to have a really tough time breaking through this but if anyone's going to break through it it would be Rome probably being the most overpowered of the offensive nations and there you go knocking down the wall Looks like they're about to bash this one down as well. Armoured hot plates already taken a few losses, I presume, from like uh, siege engines and the initial engagement, uh, like bombardment. And there you go. Lost a couple more, I think, as well. Just because the rubble falls down, I forget that that's also a Rome 2 thing. It's not just a Tiller thing. But yeah, there you go. They've uh, knocked holes in the breaches. Well, made some breaches, and now they can just power on through. And it looks like the Adrissan Kingdom is going to be coming through here as well. And these hot plates definitely need to get off the walls. Okay, that's pretty good. They're going to burn down another siege engine here by the looks of it. How much is this damage? Uh, 43. It might get damaged by the time it arrives there. Or, like, be too burnt to, like, risk it anyway. I doubt it, though. I think this one's going to get to the wall quite happily. Just a bit of a smoke. Bit of smoke coming off it. But, yeah, it looks like... Uh, the Tortoises have done their work here, and Syracuse is going to be making a formation almost here. He's got picked hot plates, he's got Thorax swords ready. He's getting archers on the wall. I'll get these picked hot plates again off the walls. No need to have them here. Just send some of these Thorax up onto the wall instead. They'll do a lot, a much better job. And there's no need to have these guys here anymore. Because if you see, they've knocked down the wall here, and they've knocked down the wall here. So these guys have just no need for them to be on the wall. And in an unlikely chance they put any guys on this wall with the siege engine, just focus them down. And see, there you go, again, they now can't get these guys off, actually they could get these guys off the wall if they did land, but um, yeah, they're making a lot of breaches for no real reason, like knocking a breach here and one here, 
just it's, this, it's just basically one breach. Like instead, just knock a breach over here or something. Even though you can't, but like if he could, in theory, I'd knock an, one one over here. And it doesn't help for uh, the attackers that they've all attacked in the same spot. They would have been a lot better just attacking on separate flanks, and so we would be spreading our stuff up. Because now we can really contain ourselves in this small area. And here we go. So already the focusing down of these Thracian warriors with archers. They're really going to get focused on. Here we go. The first combat. It's going to be some Thracian warriors going in against some armoured uh, desert hoplites. And it looks like uh, we'll deal with these guys pretty pretty easily. And what else have we got in here? More de armoured desert hoplites. Oh no, these are axe warriors. I do apologise. We've got axe warriors, we've got Rakeem Palace Guard actually in here, and we have desert hoplites. We have an all, a whole bunch of stuff. And it looks like they might try and get the sneak through here. I mean, it's kind of a spot, but it's not really at the same time. It's so small. But we've got mercenary hoplites in here, which are probably the best unit that the Adrissian Kingdom could bring. Yeah, he's, well, he's, Thracian nobles are good, but they're just so prone to just archer fire. What are these guys? Yeah, more Thracian nobles. So prone to archer fire. He's going to really struggle on that front. Rome's in. He's got troops inside. He's just capturing archer towers for himself, which is fair enough. Got some armored legionaries and some Hastati, and that's about it inside so far. He's got a lot of his army in reserve, um, that's fair enough. Already one unit of Thracian warriors, just like that, broken. And that's what the problem they're going to have. They're going to be charging against um, our lines. They're going to be okay to start with a combat, but they're going to break instantly as soon as they, uh, like, well, not instantly, but like after a little bit of prolonged melee and a bit of uh, vo a few volleys, they're going to get broken. And what we've got in here, archers coming in. This must have been a missed click by Macedon, but these guys coming in. And a few of these guys are going to get cut down for their uh, mistake there. And Macedon is now in over here against Syracuse. And that is a pull through and a half. If I haven't seen one. Macedon being caught in the act there of pulling through. Uh, yeah, that is uh, not on. So Syracuse is going to try and uh, make him pay for cheating there, basically. And yet, yeah, there you go. Javi's in the face and in the chest everywhere. That's what you get. And uh, Macedon is uh, going to lose his Thorax Sword unit. This is the problem. This is the risk. Of, like, Well, it's not a risk. It's the punishment you get for pulling through. Because you pull a unit through and half the unit's then trapped on the wrong side. You flank it. And then the unit breaks very quickly. So pulling through. If you do it on the uh, and you watch the channel... Um, it's not really a good, ta not a good tactic, and not many people will appreciate it when you play against them. Unless you're playing with people that all accept that a pull, like pull through is a strategy, that's fine. But if you're playing with people like strangers, best not to do it, because you will become the most unpopular person in the lobby, and you lose men quite quickly. And it looks like uh, has Mastodon got anything up to support these Royal Peltasts? Yes, he does. Otherwise, I'd say Syracuse could surround this unit quite easily. But these Royal Pels are anyway, getting focused down in the rear from the Crease and Archers and uh, Carthage. And I'm sure he's racking up loads of kills. Look at these men. They're already breaking. There you go. That unit that pulled through, broken. Just like that. And it looks like Pike's already been sent in. Foot Companion's already in here. They are going to have a bit of a problem getting through that breach. And throw our spears in here now. Mastodon looks like he's having a real struggle, like, just trying to pull through. The, well, not pull through, but break through. And I guess he learned his lesson for pulling through. Over here, Rome has finally engaged as well. He has his legionaries in here. Engaging armoured uh, desert hoplites. These legionaries should eventually get through. They're just so damn elite. But, I mean, they're being focused on by archers. These archers, which are all the way over here, we have like a, a base camp going on over here. Literally an army camp, and we've decided to put all as many archers in here as possible. We have uh, just units of hoplites ready, defending this choke point. These guys are slowly getting picked off by the arch tower, so we need to do something about that. Um, yeah, these guys are actually already lost like 13 men for no reason. Um, they're pretty, I think they're safe like here. Yeah, if they pull back to here, or just like back here, they'd be safe. And they'd be easy to be able to get into position if needs be. More Nabataean Axe Warriors being just shunted over here, ready. In reality, I should be defending here. But I got roped into defending here against the Addressing Kingdom as well. 
and uh, Syracuse and Carthage are kind of just using their troops to support. Syracuse is very much in the front lines. Carthage is at this moment a support army. Yep, doesn't look like this mo line's going to move anytime soon. It's just hot plates versus hot plates, and it's a very slow and sluggish fight. I mean, they're getting focused on by arrows as well. And that's fine. We'll happily hold them here. This is a really good spot to hold them. We could fall back and let them come into this area as well, but it would throw in this area, this like holding, this choke point here, which in, in fairness, we might as well give up at some point as well because these desert hoplites are losing decisively. These axe warriors may need to go in soon. Carthage has a lot of his stuff like dotted around over here. He has elephants all the way back here. He's cavalry out here, which we might need to keep an eye on. Um, his cavalry, which I think, uh, Rome and Thracia, or I might call the Idrisian Kingdom Thracia by accident, because they are basically Thracia. Um, they have seen it, I think. And um, so there's a bit of a standoff going over here. I don't know why there's loads of Libyan infantry here. No need for these guys. Might as well start sending them. Um, at least put them back here to support Syracuse if needs be. But speaking of Syracuse, he's winning this fight here. Royal Peltas breaking. Breaking the Thoros Spears. His only real issue is um, these foot companions, and they're losing actually in this fight because they're just going in, they're going in side by side. I'm not sure if the player's seen this, but yeah, he needs to sort that out. And it looks like Arch is already here. And look at this! This is what happens when you destroy super tortoises. I mean, you can get them off the walls, so he really needs to do that. But um, like this unit, of Royal Peltas, just stuck on the walls. Imagine if you focus that unit down. That was a blob of 150 men. But they are now flanking this uh, picked top light unit. So that is kind of huge. So he's done. It's an interesting play, but it kind of play, paid off in the end. But imagine if you focus that unit down, that would have been a lot of men dead. And the Greek Scorpion. Interesting that they brought a Greek Scorpion. They're not going to have done much damage. And it's a good unit to bring as a defense, but on the attack, not really worth it. The rules, if you didn't know, are were four archers, two pikes, and one artillery. Nothing else uh, was like stated in the rules. You could bring anything else. Um, but yeah, so that's all they... So like, Macedon bringing a scorpion. Kind of a waste of bringing an artery. But look at this. Rome is really bloodied up. He's struggling to get through this. The hot plates are holding. And now in comes some Thracian warriors to try and give that extra bit of oomph to just break through this front line. So yeah, this unit, it's uh, losing slightly. It keeps going between uh, even and losing decisively. But I think that's because the Axe Warriors have joined. And here we go. So the Thracians have decided to come in over here as well. Uh, this is not going to end well because I'm pretty sure now I give the command to all my archers just focus down these guys. Point blank range. Just focus all these guys down. It's just He's going to throw about two. Yep, yeah, there you go. He's throwing two units of Thracian nobles in here just to die. And these are his most elite stuff. And there you go. At 51, breaking. They're already gone. This one's going to be just uh, having the same fate. And these guys are going to break very, very soon when the archers are getting there. These hot plates just have to hold their ground. And this tiny little choke point, I mean, just like help, like the walls of a... It's like a garden wall almost, this is. Just deciding the boundary of where this choke point is. But yep, these Thracian nobles won't do too well. I think they're losing. To oh no, they are actually winning. But so the archers do need to keep firing, keep giving the orders. Boys, fire in there. I mean, in here right now it's just veteran hot plates, and mercenary veteran hot plates, and mercenary. We have mercenary hot plates, and then the ones that have survived many wars, the veteran ones. Do they look much different? Ever so slightly. I say these guys have better helmets, the veteran ones. But yeah, Thracia seems to just be attacking on all fronts. He's about to go in over here as well um, against Syracuse by the looks of it. He's getting men ready. Like, look at this. His picked hot plate unit. It, it would it's one on the on there, which is surprising. I will admit, like breaking those hot plates. I guess it might have had archer support, but um, like holding on this wall, not really like the best of their ability. They could definitely do better on the ground. And yeah, this unit, this uh, tower here is nearly gonna burn. It's going to burn down. It's 93%. 
But we're doing okay. I mean, this is not good. These mercenary bear lakes thing is getting focused down by all these archers here. We really need to do something about that. Take out these archers. I mean, that's something. That's certainly a job for the Carthaginian cavalry whenever he gets a chance to get in. But yeah, look, these archers are now uh, these slingers, sorry, are now wavering to those archers. So really, we need to sort that out. My archers are also getting focused down here. Don't know if they have any ammo left. I believe not. That's why they got their swords out. But Carthage certainly needs to protect his archers. I think he's sending um, them back. What's he got over here? He's got m are these the Carthaginian cav from all the way around there? They are. So he's going to bring them inside, and I think he's going to go out a different gate. And maybe threaten Rome. Not a bad idea. But here we go. It looks like there's going to be an offensive done here. My archers, I think, are run out of ammo. And I think I'm just going to get sent in to go and die. Bit of an interesting decision. I think it was because I wanted to recapture this tower temporarily. I'm going to just take out this legion unit. Or try to. And uh, no, there you go. We pull back. And they get sent back in. And what's coming forward here? A small unit of desert hot plates coming forward. And another one's going to replace that weakened unit. And we're just going to retake this tower for temporarily. And maybe threaten their flank. See if Rome's paying attention to what's ha happening. But Rome's general is also coming forward. So we may, need, may be able to take him out. Um, if I had still had ammo on this uh, blister as well, that would have been huge. Could have just taken out all this blob down here. But Syracuse looks like he's uh, basically done here. They don't seem like they want to carry on going through here. Macedon is looking like he's just going to go e everything through this choke point here. I mean, he's focusing stuff down on the walls and just behind the walls. Um, so he needs to be careful of that with the, these archers. But it looks like there's just going to be a big old um, assault in here, really. And this choke point is going to come under a lot of threat. So, I mean, Syracuse could start to shunt stuff across, possibly. Which he looks like he... Oh, no, I thought he was doing. But he's not. It's Carthage moving his archers. But, I mean, Rome is still plugging away. He's still trying to break stuff. And now Mastodon's sending stuff in. Going to break this small unit of hot plates. But we have neutralized the tower at this point. Mission accomplished. But at what cost? I mean, it's gonna, it's, we're going to kill a few of them, but they're going to take out an archer and a spear unit of ours, really. I, looking back, this is kind of a bit of a waste of the spear unit and the archer unit. Could have definitely used them later on, or just to soak up ammo later on. But yeah, they broke. Now the archers are going to do the same. These legionaries will make short work of them. Yep, they're broken. That's a shame. And they're going to... Yeah, they're just going to waver out here. They may return, but it's unlikely. But we have another spear unit ready to take on the, uh, the challenge of holding here. And it looks like Macedon's not going to hold up and he's going to come straight in. Royal Peltasts are on the move. Hold the line! Yeah, these boys, look at them. I think they're going to throw some javies before they come in. Hold the line. Yep, yeah, here they come. Javies. I'm expecting a charge. Come on, you cowards. Come and charge us. It's only a very, very strong spear line. No, it looks like this is going to be a standoff there. Doesn't look like the Royal Peltas really want to go in there. I mean, they don't need to. They can just let this arch tower chip away at this uh, spear unit. The combat's going on here still, and now Syracuse is sending some uh, Thorax swords, and he's got another one ready here. Um, we're really having a bit of trouble, it would seem, getting in here. These noble swords as well, not really doing much. They're losing decisively. Rome is starting to chop up a lot of troops here. But... We do have a lot of reserves, so Rome can carry on plugging stuff in there. I mean, look at all these legionaries that he's got back here. Yet to be tested, and there's Thracian nobles back here. And there we go, the, looks like the Royal Peltas have gone in. Yep, and they're going to get focused down by arrows. We've got so many arrows here. We've got, now Carthage has brought up uh, his archers here, and this is going to be really good for him. Going to get some nice easy kills. Easy kills. I mean, look, <laughs> we're just making a huge encampment here, really. Just any archers, put them in this big old uh, plaza, I guess, and we'll just defend here. 
Yeah, these uh, Thracian, I mean not Thracian, these uh, Royal Peltas are getting slowly focused down. But we do have more reserves plenty just in case he tries any funny tricks like pulling through like he did earlier. Looks like we're also starting to focus down uh, legionaries back here, or these are starty actually. No, I don't know why we're focusing these guys down. Not really worth shooting. I better shoot this legion unit here in the back. All these Thracian nobles. Yeah, this is a bit of a concern though. Very thin line here. How's it going on over here? Okay, not much has changed. Um, yeah, hardly anything at all really. These pal I mean, Carthage just had to send some stuff in. He sent in some living infantry, but I mean, the lines haven't changed. Just the units that are in there now. As men slowly die, new units come up to replace them. Looks like I've sent in some archers to hold them in line as well. But it does look like they're going to get through here. This is a bit of a problem. It's only a very small unit of archers holding them back. Do need something here, and that's going to really threaten this area here. So I think this is what Syracuse is doing. He's mobilizing this Thorax Sword unit. He's going to send it round and put it in there. I've got some Rakeem Palace. Oh no, these are Thorax Pikes. These are going to be huge. We need to keep these guys in reserve. Um, but we are going to possibly get through. Yeah, he's sneaking on by. And he might be able to deal with uh, Thracia's troops here. I mean, they've actually broken through. This is basically gone. These are Navitaean heavy archers. Yeah, he's just going to walk on past them. And now the choke point's kind of opened up a bit. This has now become a front. Bit of a concern. And there you go. Now we've got Thorax Swords going in there. Pikes going in. We've got a bit of a concern here. And there we go. A clash of infantry. As uh, Thorax Swords and Veteran hot plates have joined the fight. And there we go, a flank from the Thracian nobles. That's going to be huge as well. That's really going to catch out this Thorax sword unit. Is there anything else to support? Uh, not really. Uh, it looks like some noble swords are also going forward to help out that fight. But we will see what happens. I mean, yeah, I mean, Syracuse right now, he can start shunting stuff across. You can keep a few things here. But really, I mean, and same with Carthage. Carthage has got so much back here that he just needs to start moving forward. Because we need to start getting some stuff closer to become, like, reserves. But these uh, Thracian nobles, they're going to get surrounded by my noble swordsmen. And those Thracian nobles, they don't like when they get flanked. It doesn't end well for them. But yeah, this... Uh, Thorax Swords, they're getting absolutely chopped to pieces right now. But I really need that support from those Noble Swords. Arrows coming in. It looks like they're desperately trying to break this Thorax Swords unit. Where are the Noble Swords? There they are. Coming in. And that will help support the fight here and they'll cut down a good few of these uh, noble swords. Or these Thracian nobles, I say. And yeah, I think they're focusing like, yeah, look at this. Cretan archers focusing down. I think there's pikes in here now, yeah. Royal Thor um, not the Royal Thorax, uh, Nabataean Thorax. And look at this, they're having to form an L shape because they're trying to flank round of these uh, Thracian nobles. But yeah, these pikes are going to have to focus on. They need some support. Wonder how many kills they've got. Probably not many. 43, yeah, not great. They're getting just chopped down in the side here, you can see from these uh, noble warriors or these Thracian nobles. And now they're just trying to reform. Get a bit closer. But we do need more forces here. This is becoming an issue. It's only two units holding them back. And I mean, actually, well, three. But one's... The Shrakeen Palace guarded them well, actually. They're still holding. These pikes are about to go. Could do with Carthage setting up a new line of defense. I'd set, start setting up a line of defense here. And I'd also start defending here because this is lost. We, um, it looks like the reserve. We set up another Thorax sword to try and support here. But I mean, it's just not going to do anything. This unit's lost. This one's getting focused down. This whole area is kind of lost now. 
But we still have units going in here. It looks like looks like archers are holding back these guys over here. We've got Rakeem Palace Guard in here as well. Wow, I mean, I think Navate is basically spent. I'm basically finished. I've got one, two, three, four units left. I've got my cavalry, uh, not cavalry, uh, my general over here. He's a bit all dotted around the place. Um, but yeah, it's not looking great so far. Elephants are nearby. They may be needed. But it's a very, very close one. I mean, Syracuse is still looking very good. I mean, so is Carthage. Uh, he's starting to send in some of his troops. And here we go. He's pulling out this unit. And this area's lost. Those pikes are gone, which is huge. Because we're going to need those pikes. But I mean, the only unit, the only faction that has brought pikes was Mastodon. I think he's lost, used most of his. He's got this unit of foot companions. But I mean, I think he did lose the other one. When he assaulted uh, Syracuse. So there's only unit, one unit of pikes. And we've all got pikes, I think, as... Uh, the factions we're playing as. Yeah, I think. Yeah, African pikemen. Yeah. So they're all bringing... Oh, and there's African pikemen in here already. Yeah, pull these guys out. Carthage doing the smart thing. Getting these guys out. It looks like they're just going to form a huge battery of archers here. And there you go. We're falling back. This is the new choke point to hold. Form... Uh, these guys need to form shield wall. They're not really... I don't think they're in shield war because that would certainly do better in uh, defending against missiles. Over here, only fight going on currently. It looks like the Thracian nobles are going to uh, lose. They're slowly getting picked off. But, I mean, look at the bodies on the ground. They've killed a lot. And they're getting focused down again by archers. Just persistent. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's a nice volley. I see a lot of uh, Thracian nobles drop in there. And what are they down to now? 62, and they're losing decisively now. Or just losing. But, I mean, yeah, this is a concern as well. The most of Cretan archers going up here. Carthage is seen, and he's pulling back his own Cretan archers. And these guys now are going to basically just cover this whole area in a... Uh, Ammo. Oh no, he's going to turn around, and he's just going to start shooting these Cretan archers. Even better, these guys will mop. I think he'll mop up these guys on the walls. Oh, but they're out of ammo. Very nice by Macedon. He's just u he's forcing Carthage to use his ammo up. At least I think they've run out of ammo. They've got their swords out, yeah. And so Carthage is just wasting his ammo on this unit up here. So well played by uh, Macedon there. And these auxiliary, I mean, these auxiliary Syrian archers here are no real threat. 32 of them. Oh, he needs to be careful here, though. Carthage is sending his uh, archers in. Oh, maybe they're out of ammo. They might be out of ammo. Oh, no. I think he's trying to pull them out. I'm not sure. But it is looking a bit concerning for the attackers. Advanced power is even currently, I'd say. Uh, I'd say, But there's a lot of nasty stuff left that the attackers have yet to use. They've got their heavy onager back here, which is a real concern. And it looks like this still has ammo. This is real, really a concern. Um... What has... Okay, what's this? Uh, Roman Onager as well. I Also looks like it's still got ammunition. So it looks like they're saving ammo for late game. Pretty smart by uh, the attackers. But, I mean, we've still got a lot of ammo. Um, we've still got plenty of archers. We've got our cavalry as well. That's a good point. Where is the Carthaginian cavalry? It's all the way over here. It's just waiting. Just for a good chance to go and swoop in. I mean, definitely go for this uh, Heavy Onager. Definitely a good target. Maybe even the general for the Thracia. He's only a Thracian noble unit. If you can charge and then get out pretty quickly before they start chopping away. Oh, there we go. The first volley. Where's that going to land? Oh, he's going after the elephant. A really good target. I think he missed. Um, he looks like he hit just beyond into this uh, building complex here. But the elephants are going in. So here we go. This is going to be interesting. Can this cause a chain route for some Romans? We need to break a lot of Romans here. They Actually, they do look pretty blooded up. So maybe they did get hit. Maybe they did get hit by a... But I think they're going to get a lot of jabbies here from the Romans. Oh no, they're going this way. What are they going for? 
Oh, they're going for all these archers. A really good target, actually, for the elephants. They can get route these archers. This will be huge. But here we go. No, fire is coming in. Not good. The uh, Looks like the attackers have seen it. And it looks like Carthage is going to try and get his uh, elephants out of there. He's not happy with the amount of fire is coming in, but they're they're out of control. That's a real shame. Um, so it's, they're probably going to get killed now quite quickly because, well, they're out of control and they're in the middle of like a huge archer swarm. That was a good volley. Any uh, any elephants dead yet? No. But he is wavering one unit of uh, Cretan archers. So I guess it's a small win, but like I mean, definitely need to take out all of these archers back here as well. Let's have a look at the elephants. Any of them dead yet? No, still no dead elephants. Oh, there's one. First one drops. When one drops, the rest are soon to follow. But this choke point is now a bit of a concern. I mean, I think... I don't know why we went in again. It was kind of a... I think it was to support the elephants so the elephants could get by, but... They're, they're starting to die quite quickly. They're already down to half strength. And they're basically holding this choke point now. We can't have elephants holding a choke point. Oh, yeah. That's them gone. I think they're all dead. I don't know if the uh, they killed them. The handlers decided to kill them or what. But yes, here we go. It looks like there's... Uh, I mean, th another unit of Thorax Swords decided to go around here. I guess to support the elephants. Um, but... They're ending up just... Going to have to die on their own. These Sorex Hills aren't going to get uh, through this line of Royal Peltas. Not at all. A great, a great sacrifice, but all for nothing. And these archers are just looking, sitting happy. But Mastodon is basically gone now. I mean, he's got just archers left. And his general. And the rest of his melee units are all in combat currently. Most concerning is the Foot Companions, which are still doing very well. I bet they've got a lot of kills. Yep, 234. That is disgusting. And here we go. Uh, Thracia's trying to get through this small gap here, which has now been contained by Sacred Band. Uh, really, there needs to be pikes that have got up here. I mean, also, Archer's just focusing the side here against these Foot Companions who do okay. They've taken down their pikes. That is huge. Oh, and they've got their pikes back up just in time, of course. They have forced the gap here. Um, so this is becoming a bit of a concern. Syracuse can just start forcing stuff across. Like, there's no need to have so much stuff here now. Like, they are just not interested at all. They've got most of their army inside the walls now. Rome has got a very nice, solid uh, base going on here. And it looks like it's going to be Rakeem Palace Guard that's going to be the next to hold the line. Units breaking. What's breaking now? All oh, those foot companions are gone. Excellent. That's huge. Um, they are only wavering, so they may return. But if we can force them to break properly, even better. Even better. The cavalry's getting even closer. I mean, surely they... I'm pretty sure they've probably seen it. But the uh, Carthaginian player just deciding, I'll hide behind uh, all these siege towers. Just to make sure that the uh, attackers can't see us. They definitely will be able to see them. Uh, I mean, that's why Thresh is keeping his cavalry just in sight. I'd say the uh, Onage is out of ammo as well, if the crew's off it. Are they bringing in their Scorpion? They are bringing in the Scorpion. It's still got crew and I presume still got ammo. So they all decided to leave ammo left on their... Uh, on their archer. Oh, on their archer. On their artillery, sorry. This is a big bow, apparently. In the eyes of Pope... Bill uh, Billister, big bow. Or Scorpion, big bow, I should say. It kind of is, I guess. It's a big crossbow. But, um, yeah, it looks like it's just shooting anything in this big choke point here. I don't know if it's getting many kills. But, um... Certainly winning the... Uh, certainly won this first fight here. And it looks like, yeah, Mastodon's losing its last unit of uh, infantry, really. Everything else of theirs is uh, archers. They've got one unit here, but, I mean, they're basically spent. Which is good for us, because... I mean, even though Nabate is basically spent, it's that's good. We've... A good trade there. It looks like Pikes and uh, Palace Guard now holding here. This is going to be a good mix, but it's whether they just get focused down. I mean, these Pikes are already getting pretty focused down. 
none of them dead yet, but it's just like damaging them every little bit. And I mean, these are King Palace guards, might as well fall back. There's nothing nearby that's threatening them. Fall back, and then as soon as the unit comes up, get back into this choke point. But another push here, it would seem. Another push here. More Thracian nobles. I mean, these guys are just endless. Libyan infantry, yeah, see, they do so well on that first charge. They do really well. But these Libyan infantry should be able to pull this back. I say should, as I'm watching, like, dozens of them get cut down. Get some ammo in here. Get some uh, some archers to just focus down. Look at this guy. He's taking names. Taking names. But there you go. They're going to start slowly uh, taking these guys out. I mean, this actually, this living infantry is nearly gone. We're going to need another one in here. This one is surrounding the uh, Thracian nobles. It's going to take risk from the archers. But what we've got in here, pikes now going in. Excellent to send pikes in against these Thracian nobles. They'll certainly do the damage. What we just need is the defenders is to pray that these guys run out of ammo soon. And I mean soon. They're like, we're running low on ammo ourselves and troops. But more Thracian nobles coming in. And this is going to be a good charge into the side of these Libyan infantry. And yeah, they've seen it and they're going to fall back. And that's kind of actually not a bad move because they pull, them pulling back kind of softens the blow of this charge here. And these Thracian nobles really can't do enough to get through these pikemen. They're just going to die on their pikes. A few of them are getting through, but most of them are just getting impaled on pikes. More Libyan infantry coming up. I mean, just... How many Libyan infantry did Carthage spam out? A lot, I'd say. Um, noble fighters, they're going to be pretty useful. And what's the cavalry doing? It's decided to move again. Syracuse, if he wanted to, could actually do a big flank. He could be aggressive. He's got a fairly intact army. I think Navatea and Carthage could possibly hold most of the stuff back. And they could do a big flank. And they could certainly encircle stuff over here. Um, it's whether Rome just commits stuff that way if you needed to. But here we go. So it looks like uh, decided to finally pull back so they were out of range. Because there's nothing really actually force pressuring us here. What have we got here? We've got a pikeman unit as well. That will certainly be useful. But this is the r real choke point where all the action's going on. I mean, there's still a little bit of action here. Is this the Royal Foot Companions? Yeah. I mean, they're just getting going to get killed off, I think, by um, Thorax, Pikes of Nabatea. Oh, we have a noble, noble Sword unit here. This is very useful. So we're not quite down to bare bones yet. We still have some swords lying around. Archer's holding back this. This is not good. Really need something in here. I mean, I don't know why I pulled my um, Noble Swords out. Maybe because they were being used over here. But, I mean, Noble Fighters being sent up now. These guys will certainly uh, not be messing about when it comes to fighting these uh, Thracian Nobles. They'll uh, they'll show them what's what. Angry Spanish boys against angry Thracian boys. Looks like we might need to send those uh, Noble Warriors back in. The... Uh, Mercenary noble fighters uh, can't fully s encircle these uh, Thracians. How they like use their swords, the Thracian nobles, is almost like a saw. They like stick it into the shoulder and then just like pull it back. It's just like a saw action almost. It's kind of kind of gruesome. I would not want to be killed by that sword, put it like that. And then here we go, some archers going in. Oh no, Rodian Slingers. Pulling back. Uh, oh my gosh, he's going to just commit his... Yeah, look at this. He's going to get his Onagen nice and close. This could be painful for the pikes and the spears. An Onagen just coming point blank. Could do with getting if there's any archer ammo left, focus the crew down or burn the uh, burn the onagers. I 
I'm just waiting for the volley. It's got to come. Any moment now, they'll just give the order. Or maybe not. Maybe she's going to just position it there. Bit of a risk. If this unit breaks, we could definitely uh, push through and get that onager. Lots of legionaries back here. But, I mean, I, we definitely reached them before the legionaries did. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's not using fire ammo, which is not as epic. Normal ammo it is. That one was pretty good. I mean, most of these guys are going to get up. I think. Oh, that was a good one. Didn't see that one. That's a problem. Not being able to see where they're uh, firing because of the normal ammo. Oh, yeah. That's just making nice holes in the line. Certainly very useful for them. Oh, my gosh. Look at the ar arrows just coming in. They focus on those mercy barrel erics. Any archers that we just send up is just getting killed. What we've got here, a unit of Mercy Bale Eric's on the wall. They could definitely be useful. You could put them on the wall here and start focusing down Mastodon's general. Looks like we're setting up pikes here. This is a bold move. Okay, pikes coming up. Oh, spears, sorry, um, coming up. And pikes. And we're just folk. We're going to try and push it back these uh, onagers. The onager crew is very much safe. But if we can hold this area here, then just deny them getting their onagers back. But it looks like legionaries are coming in now. A few select legionaries got sent in. Like, boys, we're going in. Look at that poor elephant. Look at that poor elephant. Ah! That's what, it's, that's what the noise is coming out of its mouth. It's just, it's just a weird uh, look from the elephant. Just a gobsmacked. And here we go, we've got a cavalry standoff. If Syracuse sends out a spear unit, they can win this cavalry fight. I mean, now they could definitely win it because Carthage is a 2e1. And if he gets the charge bonus, he should win this. It's very heavy against medium. It's going to be close. And now he's returning. So, Legionary carries only medium. Well. But Pikes now, they'll break these legionaries slowly. They'll uh, These legionaries won't be getting through. But, I mean, this is looking good. They must be running out of ammo soon, though, here. And these guys are pushing forward. Pikes is getting um, some kills. Let's see how many kills that the Pikes are getting, actually. Thorax Pikes, only 51. That's a terrible, terrible amount. I expect more kills. And there we go. We push through here. Now into the flanks of these Romans. And, uh, yeah, this is going to cause some problems for them. And we're into the archers. The uh, noble fighters are in amongst the archers. And that's really good. We're going to need to kill as many of these guys as possible. Because they've got far too much ammo left. But he's sending forward some uh, Royal Peltas' general. This is Mastodon's general. I mean, he's got nothing left. So if we kill his general, then it's not the end of the world. Yeah, this uh, armored legionary unit is just going to slowly break. And Syracuse, yeah, I mean, he's sending out a spear unit now. He's got it ready. And, uh, okay, so Thracia sent his cavalry inside. Ah, because he's trying to get through this choke point, which is not going to happen now, because I finally, I saw th uh, that was going to happen, and he's got some Rakeem Palace Guard ready. My s general's also going over there to support, just in case they try and push through. And here we go. It looks like the cavalry charge is about to happen. Carthage is going to catch Rome unawares. And this is very good for Carthage. Oh, and he's going to send his other unit to go in against the uh, archers. Excellent. He should get the charge bonus here. Kill quite a few of these uh, cavalry. But I mean, this, this one against the archers. This is what's going to be detrimental. So they're slowly getting these guys picked off, which is really good. Look at that. Bursting on through. But what's this? Is this a... This has got to be... Oh, no. Okay, this is the other Royal Peltas unit that Mastodon has left. They are containing the cavalry. And they're trying to go for the general, um, which is not a bad idea, but, I mean, you're not going to get many kills doing that. 
better just staying in combat, break these archers, which are actually breaking. The Thracian bowmen, here they go. Will they break? Possibly not. Are the Romans winning slightly here? And to pick top plights, they really need to move up. Send these guys in, because otherwise Carthage is going to lose his cavalry. And it's pretty handy to keep that cavalry because it's threatening their rear. Here he goes. The uh, order's been given and the pick top plights are going out. How many kills has uh, these pikes got here? Okay, that's not bad. Certainly, uh, the Syracuse pikes are doing a lot better than the uh, Thorax pikes of uh, Nabatea. But still, lots of archers. Oh, yeah, look at that. These are Thracian bowmen here, just focusing down more of the Rakim Palace Guard. I mean, I'm quite happy with them using up all their ammo. We've still got a fair amount of troops here. We've still got a pikeman unit, picked top plates, even though they're battered. We've still got plenty. Just need a unit here. Oh, no, we're already surrounding these Romans. They're finally breaking. But we can really force them. Um, we could kill the Macedonian general here. I mean, we could then break most of this stuff. Spears coming in now. They're going to help support against these the cavalry. But I mean, it's pulling back. Could we catch it? Possibly. Who knows? And now there's infantry coming out. Okay, so Royal Peltas is going to come out and fight against the uh, pick top plates. That's probably going to go in favor of the pick top plates, I'd say. I don't know. Actually, maybe the Royal Peltas. I mean, if they put these archers on the wall and focus them down in the rear, they could definitely win this fight, could uh, Syracuse. But yep, yeah, looks like Carthage is going to lose his cavalry, which is no surprise. These royal cavalry are nasty. And a good charge here from Carthage. This is going to just clear up this unit, even if it's got no ammo. One less unit to worry about. More kills for Carthage. Excellent. Stab away, stab away. Yep, there they go. They've broken. And it looks like a fullback is in place. So this Rakim Palace Guard, they're not going to get back in time, um, unfortunately. But it does look like we are falling back. This is the, we're now defending the main capture point, which is here. Like, we've been, like, we couldn't really fall back for most of the battle because the main capture point is here. We all thought it was back here to start with because, look at this, it's been a cool final capture point. But it does make the rest of the settlement a bit redundant because otherwise you just defend there. So it's here, which is pretty cool. Um... We've got very little defending it. Pick top plights, pick top plights. Some Rakim Palace Guard. Syracuse is definitely looking the most healthy by a long shot. And, uh, it's, yeah, he's got a lot of stuff over here in reserve. He is winning this fight, I think. Oh, no, losing slightly. Combat even. Yeah, if he gets these Bale Eric Slingers to start firing, which they are now, that'll really whistle these guys down. There you go, losing decisively. As soon as, like, guys, if you ha don't know, just archer support in the rear like this will change the face of, like, a combat. Like, the these pick top plates are going to die. They look like they might win this fight now. Just because Bale Eric Slingers shooting them in the back, shooting these pick top plates, pick top plates, uh, Royal Peltas in the back. And, um, yeah, they'll probably win this fight now. Yeah, and they're wavering, just like that. Shot in the back, they don't like it. These pick top plates now could actually go in and attack these, uh, these archers, not a bad idea. Um, looks like Carthaginian Cav's not finished it either in here. He's just going to constantly carry on uh, fighting Mastodon, just try and break anything there is. Very persistent. I like it from Carthage. They could even just attack themselves, the infantry here. Send a small unit of, like, Thorax swords in. I don't know if they've got any, but just to send a small unit in could, like, certainly do some trouble. Or this pick top plate unit, just send it in the back. But, I mean, Royal Peltas now are pretty beaten up. Here we go. Rome is going to be the first to go in by the looks of it. This Eagle Cohort. I'm just going to fast forwards ever so slightly. Or maybe not. Um, didn't like that. Um, so we'll just keep it like it is. It's near. We're getting to the close. Uh, well, getting, this game's coming to a close now. Is what I was trying to say. But um, yes, it does look like it go either way. I mean, balance power now is definitely... In favor of the attackers. I um, mean, we lost a lot of men in like the last 10 so minutes. And um, certainly all up here. We just kept persisting over here when we really shouldn't have. But this is a problem. There's a big gap here that Rome can uh, take advantage of. And But he's not going to take advantage of it. He's just going to send his legionaries in. Maybe just hold them in place. Carthage is putting up some Korean archers to hold the line. 
They uh, probably won't hold very long, though. And here we go. Lots of legionaries going in. I have my general, which is basically my final unit now. Just defending against uh, the Royal Thracian Royal Cavalry. I don't know why Carthage has his blister over here. He's kind of wasted it. But oh well. Um, shame we can't use it now. We could really use it. But uh, yeah, Carthage is now shunting a lot of stuff this way. Syracuse is basically now defending this area here. And Carthage's main job is to hold this line here. Let's just watch a bit of the fight as it takes place in here. This final defense. If they break through this, it's GG. They're into the uh, final capture point. Legionaries, these guys have just been persistent. Just constantly ch uh, like chipping away at the armies. But yeah, I mean, these guys are uh, probably going to hold for a while. We need to kill some generals soon. Oh, okay, so it didn't come up with any uh, no notification or anything like that, but Mastodon's general is dead. It doesn't really matter, but now the Pale Slingers are starting to focus on Rome's general. I think the Thracian, the Thracian general is dead as well. Not quite sure when he died, but he's, I think he died a long time ago. Oh, excuse me, a long time ago. But yes, yeah, so it's just Rome's general left that's really going to cause any trouble. So if we can focus him down, I don't think Rome's realised that he's getting shot. But I mean, look at the angle these uh, these guys have. It's not the best angle. They could do, certainly do with um, turning around a bit. I'm not really sure how the slingers are actually firing. They're kind of firing through the wall, but they are actually hitting these guys. Doing a lot of damage as well. Sounds like they're four. Yeah. Then we decided, wait a minute, why don't we just send these guys... It's Rakeem Palace Guard up here, and they can just hold here, and we can hold this tower. This tower can be used to just basically do any damage to uh, the cavalry if they decide to charge. But now Thracia is setting up a bow unit, and he's going to, I think, go on the wall and flank around and start shooting. So there's a Libyan infantry unit that's now just going to, uh, basically going up to kill this arch unit. It's a bit of a Interesting decision to set up a fresh unit living in. Could have sent one of these picked hot flights. They'd have certainly done the job. And we could have kept that fresh unit for the front. But uh, definitely here, this is a perfect chance now for uh, Syracuse. Just charge this uh, Macedon army. Or what's left of it. There we go. Rome is uh, breaking. I don't know if the general's dead. He's not yet, but he is wavering, broken. And he is uh, basically gone. And that is huge. So there is no generals left now. For uh, the attackers. I think we still have all our generals currently. But it's still going to be hard. I mean. Balance of power is still massively in favour of Rome. But look at this front line. Pikes. Hot plates and all. But archers still coming in. And you can see there in the background. Loads of our uh, pikemen and hot plates just getting focused down. And killed. Oh, and they've got artillery. So the onagers have returned. Okay, this is going to be a problem. And look at that hole they just made there in the line. That is huge. Rome is just persisting though. He's like, I mean, this is what Rome's good at though. Just battering through. And look how many legionary units he's just trying to force through here now. If we had archers left or just even artillery ourselves, this would cause so much damage. But yeah, so Libyan the infantry now going up. They're going to just help support here. My general still just quite happily sitting back here. Doing his own little bit. And Syracuse, there we go. He's making the push. He's made the push. What's he got going up forwards? It's going to be some picked hot lights and thorax swords. And uh, it also looks like some Libyan infantry. Oh no, mercenary noble fires. And they're just taking out all these uh, Roman archers. I think the Roman archers are the only ones left with ammo. But they're, uh, yeah, they're the ones under threat. And now Rome has to defend this area. He's almost become the defender himself. We, the tables have turned. And all he's got in here is Triarii. A good unit in fairness to be holding back all these troops. But uh, 
yeah, apart from the Triare, he's got this unit of armored legionaries. Everything else is really... Oh, an eagle cohort. Okay, he's got plenty. I was thinking, I was about to say, he's got nothing defending this flank. He's got plenty to defend this flank with. We really need to get these barrel air slingers. They've got ammo left to start shooting down this onager. That's their real the concern that we have. And also these, these um, royal peltas in here. So there's still loads in here. But I mean, the good thing is Rome is losing his uh, archers. I don't know if they were out of ammo or not but they are dead now and that's what matters um what we're sending up here african pikemen they will make a difference down this flank certainly will uh, start to force these uh roman legionaries back i'm just giving you an aerial so see what happens to show you what's happening i mean there we go thracia is starting to send up his archers he's gonna flank and he's gonna try and uh just get behind me so i'm pulling back for two reasons, so that the Thracian bowmen just can't shoot into my flank, so they have to shoot me directly. But also, to see if I can lure out this Thracian royal cavalry into a charge. But I'm going back, it would seem. I must have been given orders to stand my ground there. Which I guess I kind of have to, because otherwise the Thracian uh, cavalry can just get all the way behind and it can cause problems over here. Which we do not want. Um, but these Bear Lake Slingers, there we go. They are back. And we are hopefully going to use them against these uh, infantry here. We really need to. God, this battle's been going on for a long time. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. It's uh, certainly been enjoyable, put it like that. It's uh, been very close. It's been a bit of a grind. But that's a good old Rome 2 Siege for you. It's a grind. And it's uh, certainly grinding my voice. I, I can feel my uh, throat is starting to die a little. But it's the pain I go through for you guys, for your entertainment. And I hope you guys are entertained. As uh, Maximus would say in Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Look at this boy here. With the banner of the legions. But this unit is not even facing the right way. This is a good unit to shoot down with the uh, slingers. I think that is what Syracuse is doing. Yep. Definitely shooting that unit there, I think. Yeah, well, as well as Eagle Cohort. So this is a really good unit to take out. Punish them for looking the wrong way. I think these Slingers as well still have ammo. Yep, yeah, they're going to just get a volley ready here. No, nope, they're going to fall back. And there we go. Libyan infantry now going up onto the walls. They're going to deal with these uh, Thracian bowmen. A good volley there. That's, that's going to have done the damage. And yet... Yeah, I was like, yep, yeah, send them back. These guys won't be able to even take the tower now because uh, they'll just keep breaking when the, uh, they've wavered once. They'll just break as soon as the uh, arch tower starts firing at them. The Thracian Royal Cavalry, they debated it, didn't they? They really did debate charging in there. Um, and my Rakeem Palace Guard, I'm just like, no, we're, we're just going to stand our ground. He can just look at us all day long and he can be like, well, there's no way I'm getting through here. And there isn't. Spears and swords. He's got no chance. And he's, we're sending up archers. Uh, our slingers now. Come and focus down these uh, Thracian Royal Gavry. But he's seen it and he's decided, nope, I'm going to fall back. So the, sp so the swords are going back, which we really need now. I mean, look at all these ragtag units that are now in reserve. I mean, this unit here, of armored legionaries, it's really pushing through. What have we got here? We've got pikes. We've got a general. Syracuse is having to send in his general. Well, we have surrounded these guys. I'm not quite sure how we've managed it, but we have surrounded these legionaries. And that is huge. Um, he's still got one unit of legionaries here. Um, but I think the plan should be to just carry on this way. You can always send one unit to hold up them and send the rest in. And you can surround these guys. These are in a perfect area now to surround. And this Libyan infantry unit needs to just get in there and support that front line. These pikes do as well. And now I'm going forward. I've decided now is the time to go forwards. Not quite sure what... Okay, so Thracian Royal Cavalry, I think, is going to... Oh, okay. He's going all the way round, I think. He's going to try and go around here. Not a bad move. It's now going to be a race, a uh, foot race between my general and uh, the cavalry, who can surround the uh, enemy army first, which is not good. Or, like, their enemy army first, anyway. Which is not good. So the uh, general for Carthage may have to be thrown in here to slow these guys down. And it looks like some picked hoplites are also being sent back. 
which is fine because we've won here. So it's going to be a bit of a race. It is a literal race. Who is going to get through first? The Scorpion as well is getting up. Jeez, they have so much artillery back here. Don't know if it's firing though. No, look, it's bugging out. This guy's having a little dance. He's in the club. He's like... D -d 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 -d. He's just like... Yeah, he's in there. He's just bopping away. Do you like his moves? Yeah. What a what a lad. I mean, these Onagers as well. They're ready to go. They really should just carry on using all their ammo. I mean, there's risk of obviously hitting the legionaries. But, I mean, there's pikes in there. They need to kill those pikes. Where is the... Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay, big risk. What's this Onager guy doing? He's just like dancing around his own Onager as well. It looks like all the artillery crew are just having a, a day off and they're just going to start dancing. And here we go. Nabatea is coming to the rescue. Going to come and surround some units here. And uh, Syracuse is in here fighting as well. He's held up this Eagle cohort unit, which is huge. And he's just also chopping away at this cavalry. Legionary cavalry here. He could have used his legionary cavalry to really flank on round. I don't know what happened. Don't know if he just didn't realize that he had this cavalry free. Or he was just so focused on breaking through with his legionaries. Yeah, these pick top lights should break through, I think. Mainly because the eagle cohort's not looking the right way. They are winning decisively. Uh, most of the noble fighters are doing okay. 40 against 100. Wow. Yeah, this picked hot plate unit now needs to just go and support the general. And here we go, Nabatea coming into the rear. And these legionaries are in trouble now. They're forced between uh, a rock and a hard place. It's either the Nabatea in general, or it's the Syracuse Pikes. It's uh, one way, you're either way, you're dying. Oh, but that's going to be a good volley here from Javis. I'm ready, I'm ready. Eagle cohort, give us your worst. No. Nope. They've decided decided against it. But I'd say, now looking at the balance of power, defenders looking good. But, this Royal Cavalry could change it. One hammer and anvil from them could be huge. But it, and it is winning against this uh, general here. Not good. If Carthage breaks on that front line, that could change the whole thing. Berelix, Slingers, I guess they're out of ammo because they're just going to charge head in. Yep. They don't care. They're going straight in. Where is those picked top plates? They are really needed. No, he's still defending. He's ready. He's just, I don't know what he's waiting for. If he went in, he could definitely just nullify these uh, Royal Cavalry. There he goes. He's going in. The general is still alive for Carthage, thank God. Carthage is holding with just basically pikes now on this front line, which is huge. We need all them. Need them. And he's holding back this uh, armored legionary unit, which is now winning. 83 though against uh, 23 or 22 now but I mean they've got a lot of men those 40 guys this is going to be nasty the general needs now to go in and s soak up the armor and soak up the attack yeah oh and there's a onager shot I heard that I didn't see where it landed but he's also Syracuse is going to send back a small unit of picked top plights oh I think that actually might hit, I think that Onager hit, actually hit the Thracian Royal Guard, or the Thracian Royal Cavalry, sorry. I keep wanting to call them Guard for some reason, I'm not sure why. But it, there we go, I'm going to sign and say I've had enough. I've decided that's it. It's this final shot is going to get off, I think it's going to hit um, something in the back line there. There we go, crew is dealt with. And now we've got the Legionary Cavalry has been activated, but it's a bit too late. The Legionaries are dealt with, the Royal Cavalry is gone and that is going to wrap up today's battle. It looks like the defenders are going to win. And uh, it was certainly close. It's certainly not really over. But I mean, there's just a few units of uh, Romans to just mop up, really. And they are slowly breaking. There's two units going. The, and there's a third. Fourth. Oh, that's a Legionnaire Cavalry. I mean, there's this unit of Eagle Cohort. They, they're still going strong. Where's the Eagle? Oh, there he is. Hold strong, boys, against the general. Pikes coming up now, though, and they can't beat the pikes. They've got nothing to combat combat them. And here, here comes Carthage's general. He's going to try and get in a hammer and anvil. 
yep, th that's really it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. It was certainly uh, lived up to its reputation of being close. And I think this is the first time I've played as Nabatea. Like, ever. obviously I've now shown other battles with Nabatea in before this one. But this was the first time playing as them. Uh, I certainly had fun. Uh, I certainly have improved my army since, uh, like, the armies, the units I bring since then. Like, the armoured hot plates got replaced with lots more Rakim Gar because they are so much better. Um, but, yeah, they are uh, slowly breaking. There you go. Eagle Cohort gone, so that means this unit was... There we go. Rome's now breaking. All gone. And that is going to be the battle. Excellent. Well done to the defenders. A costly victory indeed. We'll have a look at the end results. Um, so I was playing as Nabatea, as I said. Um, my archers did actually did okay. 170 odd kills, pretty damn good. Um, Desert Hotplights did okay. 120 kills, the best. But I mean, my Rakim Guard actually didn't do so well in this battle. I only brought three. And they seem to get just overwhelmed. But 150 is not bad. The Pikes didn't do so great. Axe Warrior is a, another unit I phased out to replace with more uh, Noble Swords. But I didn't really do generally that well that game. I seem to be fighting against uh, two armies and just got overwhelmed. Um, Jordan Hench, who was playing as Syracuse, getting the most kills. Actually, no, didn't get the most kills. Aiden did get the most kills. But we'll get on to him in a moment. But his Arch is getting an insane amount of kills. 245 kills. Um, his Picked Hot Plights did very well. 195. His Pikes getting 197. 202 from his Thorax Swords. Excellent. And then Aiden playing his Carthage's Elephants were a bit of a flop. Just got focused down. His Pikes getting 218, 232. His Noble Mercenary, uh, his Noble Fighters, which are mercenaries, uh, getting 230 kills. And his Libyan uh, Inventory actually did okay. Most of them getting over 100 kills. Um, and his Sacred Band did okay as well. And then we'll go on to the attackers. The Sturban playing as Rome. He got. Uh, 230, th 234 and 270 with his uh, armored legionaries. That's pretty damn good. Um, his eagle cohort did okay, um, and the rest of the army just was, did pretty average. And then we have uh, J Dirk uh, playing as the Adrisian kingdom. Um, his noble, his Thracian nobles did excellent, getting 200 kills. I mean, even though they were getting focused down by archers, they were still a problem. His mercenary veteran hot plates did also very well, getting 271 kills, and then. Uh, We'll have a look at Macedon, who's played by Benjamin Van Alt Altena, who got 280 kills with his foot companions. That is probably one of the best units the attackers uh, like brought and did the best, I think. And then his general got 207, which is also pretty good. And his archers all getting over 100 kills. And his um, Royal Peltas did okay, but most of them did pretty disappointingly. But I mean, one got to 186 kills, which is pretty good. Um, anyway guys, if you enjoyed that battle, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe and uh, join the Discord which is, in the, which is in the description down below. And until next time Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.